Hello and thanks for joining us in Noche La NBA, the NBA's celebration of Latin heritage, both among its players and fans. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan, and we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. Point shot likely to be a key factor here tonight, Mike. Both these teams do a lot of damage from behind the arc. It's a strategy more and more teams lean on every season, but it can be risky. If the shots aren't dropping early, the game plan has to change in a hurry. I bet you're right. Price does such a good job, always seems to find the open man. This is a guy who loves to share the basketball. Price against Pippen. And Jordan has it in the corner. Lock at six. Pippen against Price. And that one's good by Pippen. Scotty Pippen showing you nice touch inside close range. And here's Price. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Passes it to Bennett. Price outside. Pass to Doherty. That's tipped. And now the Bulls on the break. Pippen's got the ball. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. So the Bulls, the last game, a win against the Nuggets. They let loose a barrage from deep. They could not miss. Good movement to keep getting solid looks, and they were able to convert time after time. Pippen against Price. Pippen down low. Count it. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Now here's Nance. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. And his two blocks really had an impact, guys. He really made his presence known and proved once again that he's a very capable defender. Just five to shoot. Here's Price. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. When it's Jordan in the open court, get ready for a show. Price looking it over. On the pass to Nance. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Fires, top of the key. Pretty good defense that time from John Paxson. Not being shy about getting up in the shooter's face there. Now, here's Pippen. He's covered closely. Crops in the layup for two. Pippen's got six. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. And they double up Price. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's his first foul. Kings check in for the Bulls. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Here's Brandon, guarded by Paxson. It's good. Boy, I love how Brandon sets the table for his guys. Really the quintessential point guard. Gets the ball to his open teammate. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Pippen after Brad Doherty's basket. Pippen the pass to King. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. They don't hesitate when they get their opportunity to punch it inside. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. 
Price outside. Hands it from downtown. Price has got his second bucket. The three-point shot is the calling card of Mark Price. He's incredible from deep. Pippen the pass to Jordan. There's a screen. Fades and shoots. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range. Whether he's squared up or falling away, you feel like it's going to splash. Here's Brandon. 14 points from him the last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Jordy, no luck. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Three-point lead. The shot's good from Paxson. In a way, Jordan is your point guard. He's the initiator. For Cleveland, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Postseason pictures starting to come into focus, Mike. Are teams that are fighting for a position watching the standings right now? Impossible not to for most players and coaches. You still have to play your game and worry about what you control. Clearly that was number one for you, but uh, would you find yourself sometimes during games or whenever looking at the scoreboard? You got me. I have to be totally honest. I did catch a few players glimpsing up at the scoreboard, <laughs> but that was only after I had looked at it already. Right. <laughs> They're just following the coach. <laughs> Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Williams is checked in for Grant. Livingston comes in for Scotty Piffin. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson. One shot. And that one falls for Armstrong. You know, you can't give him any room to shoot the three ball when you talk about B.J. Armstrong. He is a lethal three-point shooter. Williams passes to Curry. To the left wing. Here's Brandon. He's covered by Armstrong. Pass to Ferry. Just four to shoot. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The Bulls leading by eight. In the corner, it's Jordan. Over Kerr. It's Chicago with another bucket. Jumping all over them right from the tip-off. They now have a double-digit advantage. They look like the more confident team so far. This is why they've grabbed such a substantial lead so fast. Here's Makoka. Here's Fear. Passes it to Brandon. Looking to end the run. And he hits the jump shot. Here is Armstrong. 11 point game his last outing. Pass to Williams. Here's Levingston. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Jordan left side. Over Kerr. Shot clock at six. And they double up Jordan. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Here's Armstrong. Off target from outside. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at the three. Here's Makoka. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. First free throw is good. Bulls making a switch here. Purdue's checked in. Good on both. The Bulls leading by six. Armstrong dishes to Jordan. And the pass to Levingston. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Ferry. Cavaliers have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. From about 19 feet, it's good on the putback. You know, anticipating where to be on the offensive glass, Williams showing you that he's a fighter and how beneficial that is. A drive by Jordan. That one good for two. Jordan's got eight. Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. The Cavaliers trail by six. 
Here's Brandon. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Going way upstairs for the one-handed jam. Major athleticism on display. And Clark graceful, too. So graceful. He almost makes it look easy. Sure does. Really, that dunk is a testament to his skill around the rim. And here are the Bulls now following the score by Cleveland. A nice shot by Jordan. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular, sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked. And he keeps it simple. Why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that? Here's Fury, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Williams a screen. Inside, here's Makoka, and he lays it straight in. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it till they stop. It's stolen by Kerr. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. Turn. It's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? They just took over in the paint in that first period. Got real physical down low. Working hard for those high percentage shots. Great way to build the foundation of your offense. Price against Armstrong. Purdue with a screen on Price. A three-pointer off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by four. Tries it from 19. Rebound by Williams. The Bulls shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. Feeds to Armstrong. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mike, do you get a sense that there may be a changing of the guard going on in the Western Conference? Well, the Lakers are coming off their eighth finals in 10 years. Mm. But between the Suns, Rockets, Blazers, Spurs, Jazz, it does feel like the Lakers are passing the torch. It is interesting to see a change like this. Lakers have been good for so long. But clearly there's got to be a time limit on this, right? I mean, that kind of length of success is incredible. Isn't that what draft picks and free agency is all about? You're supposed to catch the leaders up on top and try to replace them? You're right, and that's what these teams have done. And here's Armstrong following the three-pointer by Mark Price. Purdue the screen and the clock. Goes up to the strike, and it's Armstrong missing. Cavaliers trailing. Kerr outside. Price outside. Over Purdue. And it's Price missing. Here's Chicago. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Here's Armstrong. He's covered by Bennett. Armstrong with the screen on Price. It's deflected. One of Nance's specialties. He's a shot blocker who covers a lot of ground. Releases. Price can't get that one to fall. Bulls have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Armstrong with it. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Williams in the post. He's defended by Price. That one goes. Count it. Williams has got his first basket. Tough task for defenders. Williams utilizing his size inside. The drive by Nance. Out to Price. Nice move. Price can't get that one to fall. Rough quarter for him. Just hasn't been able to connect. And that's the way it goes sometimes. Just got to stay with it. Purdue with a screen on Price. Armstrong. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Now it's a six-point Chicago lead. 
I like this play call by Armstrong, intelligently moving things around to create for himself. And that one's good, Price. Yeah, against a much taller player, you've got to be slick and wily. Figure out a way to get your shot off against a bigger guy. I think it helps if you have a quick release, change of direction, just don't be deliberate. Armstrong against Price. Now Armstrong. Six points for him. That three off the mark. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Bennett. Pass to Price from 20 feet out. Not going to go that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Armstrong kicks to Williams. Kerr against Hodges. From deep, deflects the pass. Williams goes back up. Cavaliers with the rebound. Doherty's got rebound number five here tonight. So timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Their defense was all spread out, not connected, leaving lots of holes, which the offense was able to exploit. They just weren't communicating, weren't hustling. I'm sure it was driving coach up the wall. A new lineup here for the Bulls. As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. You look at Chicago. What a run they've had this year in first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And, of course, the Cavaliers right on their heels as they've got the next best record. Here's Brandon. Right wing from 20 feet out. It's good. Ferry's got his second bucket of the night. Chicago leading. Jordan is doubled. Pass to Cartwright. against Kirk. Here's Cartwright and the jam by Bill Cartwright. Very physical play by Cartwright. Defense just doesn't want to get in the way. The Cavaliers trail by four. Kerr outside. And there's the pass to Brandon. And Grant sends it back. It's Jordan with the drive. And it's Pippen in the corner. Back to Jordan. Cartwright, the pass to Pippen. Six to shoot. Puts it up. He climbs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Now it's a six-point Bulls lead. Here's Brandon, guarded by Paxson. They set the pick. Kicks it out to Kirk. And so Grant will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Jordan. Over Kerr. And Jordan gets it to go on the assist by Pippen. Jordan's got 12. Firing on all cylinders right now. Jordan is showing no mercy and getting any shot he wants. Passes to Ferry. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Goes up, and Jordan slams it home. And what a finisher Jordan is on these slams, putting on a show for the fans. 
There's a minute 40 left in the first half. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Shot to stop the run. That one wide left. Tough to miss such high percentage looks. Deflating. Cavaliers foul. Steve Kerr. First personal foul. Third team foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. He throw good, Jordan. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare for a star. The defense Time keeps fouling him, and he's making them pay for it. Timeout called Cleveland. Kings check in for Bill Carter. Stacy King. Chicago on defense. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Williams, a screen on Paxson. And Grant sends it back. One of the better defenders in this game. Grant teeing off on that one. One eleven left to play in the first half. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brandon. Watch again. They retain possession. And uh, now looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. He is hoping that the injury isn't as bad as it looked. Boy, you hate to see that happen. Yeah, time will tell. We're all hoping to see him back on the floor very soon. Price is checked in for the Cavaliers. Mark Price. On. Back to Williams. Pass to Makoka. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Price. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. They desperately need something to fall. Well, they're on the wrong side of the big run. Never a good feeling. A good job preventing the layup. I think it's smart to make him earn it from the line. Yeah, intelligent defense there. The coaching staff encourages these guys to do whatever they can to avoid giving up easy buckets. He hits both from the strike. Now, here's Price. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. Paxson against Kerr. The pass to Price. Five to shoot. And they get it back. Pass to Ferry. Price outside. Trying to get something going. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. What on Pippen. Defense is working overtime to try and shut Price down. But he sticks with his motion and gets the foul. Taking two shots. So he gets them both. Just four seconds left in the first half. Grant for three. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Chicago Bulls enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. Looking to keep that rhythm he found in the first half going right now. He's more than capable, and best believe they're going to keep the ball in his hands. And 
then as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Hey guys, I got an update from the Cavaliers head athletic trainer. He told me that it's a sprained knee, and while he is in extreme pain right now, he appears to have escaped without suffering any tears. If he were to miss time right now, it would really hurt this team, especially during the latter stages of the season. Kevin? David, thanks for the new info on his status. And Clark, I know we've all been wishing him a very speedy recovery. Most definitely. Injuries are still such an unfortunate reality of the game, and we know they're going to happen, but they're never pleasant when they do. Mm, what a shame. Yeah. Well, on the floor and in recovery, it's all about taking care of yourself. I'm sure he's been doing just that. Here's Pippen. Following the basket by Mark Price. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Known as an elite defender, Pippen is also more than capable of shouldering the offense sometimes, too. For Chicago, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. That free throw good from Pippen. He's perfect from the line this time. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Here's Doherty. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Pounding the rock with Doherty. It's a winning formula. The Bulls leading by 12. Paxson passes to Pippen. Slamming it down. And going with the reverse on that slam. Nice. Yeah, Clark, you could almost see him float in the air, like suspended. Yep. And that shows you the hang time he possesses. Here's Price after the Bulls pick up two. Drives to the hoop. Up and in on the layup. Price has got four points this quarter. Well, you respect the jump shot of Price. Sometimes it allows him to drive it right past you. You've got to respect that jet. It's Pippen on the win. He's defended by Price. And Pippen slams it in. He's making it happen offensively, doing his part to craft his lead. And here's Kerr. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the Cavaliers call time here. Check in for Carton and Livingston subbed in for Pippen. Kerr outside. Passes it to Doherty. Price outside. A three ball. That's good, and it's Doherty with the assist. Price has got 19 points. One of the great shooters in this game. Price on the finishing end of a nice play. Grant with a screen on Kerr. For three, Paxson. The rebound by Bennett. Boy, they dodged one right there, didn't they? Yeah, he won't miss a look that wide open very often. First team foul. Coming on the floor for Cuba. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Doherty. Bennett with it. Clock at six. Here's Price. They grab their own miss. Here's Doherty. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Doherty's got his third bucket of the night. Jordan with 18 points for him. Down low and stolen by Doherty. 
Price outside. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. To the middle. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Horace Grant. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> Owners are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Win now, or do we want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here. The way you could, as a coach, you know, go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager, and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes, up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good hustle that time by Nance to rescue the play, getting in there for the board, and then putting it back with no hesitation. Jordan with it, Bennett's there, and the call will be against Larry Nance. That is his first foul of the game. A different look now for Cleveland. Akoka's checked in. And Hot Rod Williams subbed in for Larry Nance. Up top, Armstrong. Back to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Over Bennett. A shot by Jordan, no good. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 15 to six run. against Armstrong. Price outside. Over Armstrong. That is good. And the Bulls lead has cut to just three points on the basket from Price. One of the more consistent shooters out there. Price is able to knock it down despite the shot contest. Here's Armstrong. Outside for Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Cleveland foul call. Hot Rod Williams. First personal foul. Third team foul. Outside Jordan. The pass to Armstrong. Fires the three. The rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Price dishes to Williams. A nice shot by Ferry. Ferry's got six. Demonstrating why he's a key component of this team. Williams is just so unselfish with the ball. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Paxson, he's checked in for the Bulls. Chicago has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. To end the cold streak. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got three assists in the game. Outside Williams. Pass to Makoka. Now, here's Bryce. Pass to Makoka. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Shot on the wing. And it's Price missing. The Bulls leading by four. Jordan with it. Foul defended by Bennett. Two points. That one goes. You know, this is why Jordan is such an effective scorer. Picks his spots really well inside. Paxson against Price. And they double up Price. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Williams kicks to Price. Makoka, the pass to Williams. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Four on the shot clock. Ferry makes it off the glass. Ferry's got four points in the quarter. That's an excellent move inside. Keeping pace here. 
Jordan is doubled. Fifty seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Again, Chicago. His hot streak continues night after night, making his presence felt offensively. The Cavaliers trail by six. Price outside. Pass to Bennett. Nine feet out. And Jordan sends it back. With an incredible four-foot vertical leap and that 6'11 wingspan, it's tough to get a shot over Jordan. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Williams sets a screen for Jordan. There's the pass to Livingston. A three-pointer, no good. Now Bennett got it up. And he was able to put it up in time, but it doesn't fall. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And here's Price. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Six-point game. To the paint. Here's Bennett, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, Winston Bennett was a third-round pick and plays as hard as you would expect a guy picked in the third round to play. Hustle points are a big part of his arsenal. Grant, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Hodges the pass to Armstrong. Purdue the screen. Here's Armstrong. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. And the Bulls lead by six. A strong shooter from distance. Armstrong unafraid to fire away. And they double up Price. Doherty in the post. Pippen on him. Doherty with the bucket. And this is how you capitalize down the stretch. I mean, the coaching staff has got to be pleased with that. And the game isn't over yet, but that was huge. Let's see if they're able to close it out. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Williams has a screen for Pippen. Pass to Hodges. From past the arc. The shot, no good. So the Cavaliers will take it the other way. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. And the jam by Larry Nance. Moving with intention, Nance putting some muscle behind his action to make sure he can't be stopped. Nippin the pass to Armstrong. Purdue the screen. Let's it go from deep. And it's Armstrong missing. He needs an alternate offensive strategy because the arc is not being kind to him right now. Nance outside. Passes to Dort. He kicks it to Price. That's good, and it's Doherty with the assist. Price has got 12 points here in the second half. Once he gets rolling, Mark Price can go off. We're seeing that tonight. Williams sends a screen for Pippen. He feeds it to Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Both offenses, I tell you, are cooking with gas right now. We've got a shootout on our hands. Look out. Cavaliers have gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Pass to Bennett. Now Nance. And the call will be against Scottie Pippen. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the Bulls making a change here. Hartwright's checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Campbell's checked in. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. To the inside. 
Here's Gordy. Doesn't go that time. Chicago's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pippen outside. The pass to Carter. And the jam by Bill Cartwright. Hitting the afterburners to get the easy slam. The Cavaliers trail by three. Pass to Bennett. Good work defensively by Pippen. For Chicago, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. we played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And the jam by Bill Cartwright. Textbook. This is how you run screen and rolls. Cartwright being rewarded for the aggressive and quick slash off the pick. Price outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Boy, Price is so accurate as a shooter. He makes smart decisions and selections when it comes to shots that he's going to take. And his mechanics, textbook. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Grant comes in for Williams. And it's Jordan in for Hodges. Pippen down low. Guarded by Price. Pippen with the bucket. Tonight, Scottie Pippen has taken over, showing he can be the guy on a team. Here's Jordy. Jordy with the screen on Jordan. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut back down to three after the basket from Jordy. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort, or lack of one, that is. A shot by Jordan, no good. Cleveland has gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Kerr dishes to Price. Jordy with the screen on Jordan. This is it to Jordy. Man's trying to break loose. Jordy, no luck. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. Down low. Kicks it out to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pippen finds Jordan. Six to shoot. And Pippen with the basket. The assist from Michael Jordan. Pippen's got 13 points in the second half. Price outside. Shoots over Jordan. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Score the basket for his 10th make. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. You know, we talk about Pippen's versatility a lot, and with good reason. There he's showing you a superb court awareness with that pass. Price outside. Wide open. Chicago grabs the miss. Cartwright's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's defended by Price. Too open that time. Made it look too easy. And now an 11-point Bulls lead. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. Never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. Kings check in for Bill Cartwright. And so here's Cleveland. Price outside. Jordy with the screen on Jordan. Here's Price. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 16-4 run right now. Pretty strong move in there by Jordan to draw the contact. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago. The throw good. Jordan. Paxson, he's checked in for the Bulls. Both good from the line that time. 132 left in the fourth. And here's Price. He brings it up for Cleveland. Trailing by 13. Kicks to Darty. A 
gets in, coming off an assist from Price. Price has got five assists tonight. Nice shot from the big man. Doherty showing off another wrinkle of his game. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Bennett. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Four on the clock. Pass to Grant. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Goes to Cleveland. Fifty-eight seconds left in the game. Price against Jordan. It's Price on the wing. Here's Kerr for three. Here's Nance. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Grant. Jordan drives in. Grant finds Jordan. Over Bennett. Jordan with the bucket. And the Bulls lead by 13. I think the hometown fans helped push them to play their best this evening. And the results speak for themselves. Well worth the ticket price to see your team play this way. Jordy with the screen on Jordan. Here's Price. Rebound by the Bulls. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Mike, would you say they just kept a better energy throughout the game tonight? They came in with extra confidence with the whole crowd behind them. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For our reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.